This is a demo of the generated lineups tab on the NBA lineup optimizer. A reminder that you can watch individual demos on each tab with the players tab talking about all the advanced options and being the primary demo. So start there if you haven't already. We built the generated lineups tab to be a full service tab so you don't have to go back into players and research and games. You can do everything you need to from this tab. So when you generate lineups, you'll see a new tab display down here, and you can generate up to five tabs at once of 100 lineups each. Once you get to the sixth lineup, the sixth lineup tab, you'll see I'm going to rename this first one. I'm going to rename it by double clicking it. I'm just going to click, I'm just going to name it so you can see. Once I click the sixth tab, you'll see the first one disappear, so it goes away. So make sure if you're running a lot of different tabs with multiple lineups, that before you run that sixth tab, go into the first tab and save the lineups you want, download the lineups you want, make the changes you need so you don't lose that work. When you generate tabs, it shows the slate, and when there are multiple slates, you'll see multiple slates under each tab so you can easily organize your lineups according to slate. You can X out a tab by clicking the X up top. And down below, within each tab, you'll see the lineups, which has the lineup name, which includes the projection source. You can also double click in that and rename those if you want. You'll see the total projected points. You'll see the percent of optimized, the highest being at the top. You'll see a preview projections, which you can click and see the total for this lineup for all the projection sources you have. So if you were to upload your custom projection sources, you would see the totals here as well. It's a great way to save time without having to generate multiple tabs of lineups. You can save a lineup directly from this tab. Once you click that save button, it'll turn green and the lineup will go to the save lineups tab. And you can go, to, you can go back to this tab and download all. You can remove lineups. Uh, you can edit lineups. So it's a way just to save lineups as you go about looking at the various lineups. You'll see a download button. You click that and it'll download a CSV which you can upload to DraftKings or FanDuel. You'll see the total salary used and the remaining salary. You can sort each column. You can swap out a player. So if you see one player you don't like, let me click this swap, and then it'll drop down a search bar which you can search for players or it'll show you all players with the same salary or lower. Make sure to check all the players because they're not sorted by projection. And then you can select a player and once you do, it'll substitute that player and the total points will update. So this total points will reflect and swap. And at this point it's not optimal anymore, but it doesn't refresh the percent optimized and it also doesn't refresh the exposure. So you'll, be, you'll see the exposure on that player uh, go to nil. So just keep that in mind when you're swapping players. You can do that multiple times. Uh, it, it's a highly effective way to just edit your lineups on the fly. Now, if you wanted to make updates, you could lock a player, you could exclude a player, and you'll see those updates in these lineups, but they won't reflect here. They'll reflect when you click Generate Optimal Lineups again. So if I'm locking J.R. Smith, excluding Amir Johnson, and want to see the last five, I can make all these updates on screen, click Generate Optimal Lineups, and you'll see the new tab display with all your new settings. Another way to manage all the players on the screen is to click the players used. And what that'll show you is all the players used in the lineups you generated within this tab. It'll sort them by position. You can search for them. You can reset. You can edit projection here. And when you do so, you can hover over and see the projection change. You can sort. If you turn on exposure, you could go into players use and you can start editing exposure. You can do lock exposure. So everything you need to, you can do here. It'll show you the total percent and it'll show you the raw number of lineups that player is in. And then you once again, you can generate additional lineups from the players used. And you'll just generate that new tab of lineups and continue on your way. So super helpful tab. You can do everything you need from here, full service. Definitely mess around with the swap. And this concludes our Generated Lineups tab demo.